In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to use the Smart Fit Audio Duration Tool. That long name basically means when you have an audio track, normally music, and it's too long or too short for your purposes, you can automatically have this program adjust the length. This is available for owners of PowerDirector 20 or subscribers of PowerDirector 365. So I have several video tracks on track number one, these clips, and I'm going to take an audio and drag it down into track number two. And then we'll adjust the length. And we see that the audio, besides being clipped, and we'll adjust for that, is definitely too short for my entire project. I can either shorten it or lengthen it in one of two ways. Let's show you what we can do. I can highlight my audio clip and click on the tools above the timeline. And then the top one we're going to use is Smart Fit for Duration. It opens up a screen that shows me the audio in its original format. It gives me the original duration at the top. And then it gives me three other options. I can fit to the playhead on the timeline. Now that's not the playhead on the display to the right. That's the playhead at the bottom. Now if you happen to have your timeline set so the playhead is not on this track when you launch this tool, this one will be grayed out. So this will always be to shorten it since the timeline will always be on top of the clip. The other option is fit to the end of the project. The third is a custom duration. Let's look at some of these and see what we can do with them. By the way, you can use the elements over here to look at the waveform. You can magnify if you want to. You can also go to a certain segment by typing in this in the time code. Let's type in 10, for example. And that will position this playhead wherever I want to go. But this basically isn't for editing. It's basically for viewing. Now what we're going to do is try the first one which is fit to playhead position on timeline. So in this case, I'm going to cut my audio track by about two thirds. If I click on that, now it shows where it's going to cut it and I can click on OK. And now I see it, it is taken and placed it in four separate segments. I'll do a control Z to undo that. Let's look at another option when we do that. We'll click on Tools, Smart Fit for Duration. This time, let's, let's do a fit to the end of the project. And it gives some suggestions on how it might want to cut it. I'll click on OK. And now when I look at it, it's the same length of the project, and this is where it happens to be cut. Let's listen for a second to some of the places where the transitions occur and see how they sound. Here's the first transition. Let's go to the second transition and listen to where that one takes place. And here's the third one. So overall, the results are not too bad. If you want absolute precision, you need to go into Audio Director or a similar program and edit it so that each beat is exactly what you want. But this is a very nice and quick shortcut. Let me show you one other tool that's part of this that we haven't talked about yet. We have this example here. I'm going to mute this track. I'll pull this down again in its original format. And then we're going to use the same tool a second time, but we'll change one of the parameters. I'll go Smart Fit for Duration. I'll say Fit to the End of the Project. Now I have a Max Duration Bias. What's that about? The farther this is to the left, and the default is 5 seconds, the closer it will be to the specified duration. The farther I move it to the right, according to the documentation, the more the sounds are closer to the original audio. So let's take this and crank it up all the way to the maximum of 30 and click on OK. In this case, it will perform the same action, but you notice the cuts are different. 
So if you want to try a couple different variations when you're using this tool, I'll do Control Z to undo. When you click on the tools again, you can modify this and it will it will automatically change it. Another feature I really like about this is you can just do a custom duration. Say it's uh, 2 minutes, 30 seconds, and 10 frames. Let me double it. Just make it 4 minutes long. And I'll click on OK. And now I've automatically created it to a length of my preference. We'll look back here and now we see we have a clip that's 4 minutes 30 seconds, 10 frames long. So you can use this any way you like. Let's do Control Z to undo and I want to show you one other thing. If you want to launch the tool, you can use the tools menu at the top, but another way you can do that is hold the shift key down and change the length of it either longer or shorter. Let's go a little bit shorter and let go. And it will automatically render the audio using the tool in the default mode. So here it's made it slightly shorter. So I don't even have to go into the tools menu to adjust things. All I need to do is hold the shift key down and drag. I'll do control Z again. I'm going to drag the clip down again on track number three. And in this case, I'll hold the shift key down. and We'll make it longer than it was originally. It will automatically re-render the clip and in a moment I'll see my waveform. And that's a way to do it if you like the default settings, just with the mouse. Very quick, very simple. So we'd like to ask you to try the tool and see if it works to your specifications. In lots of cases, it does a good enough job that saves you tons of time.